Ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? And welcome to my high school pred football predictions for week number three of the season. We are already three weeks in. We got a long way to go until the college or until the high school playoffs start. But we got some games to predict. Also, really quickly, big announcement: I will be on sidelines. Back at it again for the Spanish Fort Toros this year as well. They are going to be taking on Bay Manette, who has five four-star uh, quarterback Ty Mims as well. Three-star quarterback as well. That game is going to be fun. Highlight Rose will be coming out probably all day on Saturday, maybe on Monday if there is still college football as well. But with that being said... I'm going to be on the sidelines for the Spanish War games until further notice. So next week, as they take on Sierra Land, you guys are going to see a ton of talent distributed. And then the following week, they will take on Gulf Shores, and you'll see some more talent in that one as well. With that being said, though, we got some Alabama high school predictions to get into it. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and hop into it. This will be the final video of the day. I know I said that in last video, but... This is for sure the final video of the day because I got to work on tomorrow's videos as I'm going to be busy all freaking day tomorrow. And uh, yeah, we got some week three games to predict. Let's hop into it right now. All right, so there are no Thursday night games to predict. We can just go ahead and hop into the Friday games, starting off with Baker at Davidson and I what I think is going to be the game of the week here. I got to give it, though, to Baker. They're the road team, yes, and I think Davidson's the worst team ranked in the state, but I got to give it to the Baker Hornets. This is going to be a top 25 matchup. It's like number 8 versus 17. Baker's the better team. Baker's defense is really, really good this year, and uh, yeah, go, Hornets are going to get the win here on the road as well. Enterprise at Dayton. I'm going to run through some very quickly ones. Um, I got to go with Enterprise here on the road. They are by far the better team. Dayton, on the other hand, could be struggling at home as well. Washington County at St. Luke's. I got to go with St. Luke's here and go with the local boys and St. Luke's Episcopal School. Theodore at McGill. Got to go with Theodore here. Theodore coming off of a very short overtime loss to the Spanish Fort Toros. Last week, they're looking to bounce back. McGill obviously just got a win against Murphy last week, so they're now 1-1 one one of the year. Both teams 1-1. One one. This is going to be a fun one to watch in my opinion. Good one to keep up with on Friday night, but I've got McGill or Theodore, excuse me, getting the win on the road against MGM or against McGill, excuse me, which leads me into my next game. Daphne at MGM. This is going to be a fun one as well. Daphne obviously coming off of a win in Florida this past weekend, and uh, MGM coming off of a win against a really tough Gulf Shores team last week. With that being said. Give me MGM. They're the better team by far. They obviously have proven that they are they they are the better team. Excuse me, and uh, they're playing at home, so I got to go with MGM. Home field advantage does factor in a lot in high school football, and uh, yeah, got to go with the MGM here as they will get the win over Daphne in this matchup. Opelika at Auburn. This one's going to be a fun one as well. Lots of talent distribution in this one, especially on the Opelika side of things, which is why. I'm going to go with Opelika. They got a couple Auburn commits on that roster. Auburn, on the other hand, they do have one or two Auburn commits as well. But I got to give it to Opelika. They're the better ranked team in the state. And uh, they're going to win this game on the road. Could be a potential upset right there. Centronelle at Faith Academy. I think Centronelle is the better team here, which is why I got to go with Centronelle. And uh, yeah, they will get the win against Faith Academy. Faith Academy losing four star Arkansas commit. Uh, to Spanish Fort this past year in a transfer, and uh, yeah, Citronelle is going to get that win as well. Fairhope at Bryant. i got to go with Fairhope here. I know they've been struggling to start the year, but I think that Fairhope is going to get the win. I don't like Bryant that much. I d never really think that they're pretty, they're not really that good, and uh, yeah, got to go with the Fairhope Pirates here on the road at Bryant and Mobile. Hillcrest, Kyle Show Christian. This game Going to be a fun matchup to watch. This game is going to be a very high-scoring matchup, if you're asking me. Two top 25 teams as well in the state on this one. Got to give it to Cotton Show Christian as they are, one, the higher-ranked team in the state of Alabama, but two, they are also at home. Again, high, at home field advantage factors in a lot in this one, and uh, I think that they're going to get the win there against Cotton Show Christian. 
UMS right, BC rain, UMS looking to go to it and won here within the last three weeks or so. They started off with the loss to St. Paul's. BC Rain, I believe, is 0-2 on the year. I've got to go with UMS Wright. I'm not expecting there to be an upset, but I wouldn't be shocked if BC Rain upset UMS Wright either. With that being said, UMS is going to get the win here and a pretty close matchup in this one, if you're asking me. The game of the week, though, down here at least in southern Alabama, Saraland Spartans High School at Gulf Shores High School. I know Gulf Shores is 0-2 to start the year. I realize that, but they've played MGM. They've played another tough team as well. Sarahland, on the other hand, they played Jackson to start the year, so they got an early test. Uh, they got a tough early test, if you're asking me. They also played Blunt last week. With that being said, i got to go with Sarahland here on the road. I know it's on the road in Gulf Shores, and I say it a lot, that home field advantage factors a lot in high school playoffs. But Gulf Shores is in a slump right now. With that being said, I don't want Spanish Fort to be the ones where they beat to where they start going hot next week. And uh, i got to give it to Sarah Lynn as they will go on the road and beat Gulf Shores in this matchup. K.J. Lacey, obviously the four-star Texas quarterback commit, is going to be really good. Antonio Coleman should be in uniform. Don't know why he was not in uniform during that week one game. They just got a better all-around talent, and they're going to beat Gulf Shores. This one... It's going to be sneaky right here. Orange Beach at Bayside. This is going to be fun. I really think this is going to be a great matchup here. I'm going to give it to Bayside, though, as they look to bounce back after losing, I believe, 0-2 to start the year. Give me Bayside as they are taking on Orange Beach at home. Baldwin County, Spanish Fort. Got to go with the Toros in this one. They're by far the better team. Coming off an overtime victory at Theodore on the road. They're riding high right now, 2-0 on the year. Baldwin County is 0-2 right now. I did talk about their quarterback and their cornerback, four-star quarterback as well. When that said, Spanish Fort should light take care of business against the Baldwin County Tigers. Murphy at Blunt, which is going to be a battle of the two sucky teams. Got to go with Blunt here. They put up a really good fight against Viger, I believe, as well. And, uh, yeah, they're looking to upset Murphy at home as well. St. Michael and W.S. Neal. St. Michael's the better team by far. Satsuma, Mogul Christian. This is going to be a very sneaky one, in my opinion. Mogul Christian will get the win at home. Foley, Robertsdale. Robertsdale's going to start off 3-0, and man. They are looking hot right now. Nobody really in the clear to stop them. Maybe Spanish Fort will. Maybe Sutherland will. But they are hot right now as they will be 3-0 and to start the year. Hoover at Hillcrest and what's going to be another game of the week one. i got to give it to Hoover, though. They're the better team in this one, and they should get the win at Hillcrest. Jackson and Escambia County. Give me Jackson here and that one as well. Then finally, Viger at LaFleur. Viger will get the win on the road in before and uh yeah those are the games of the week that i think are going to be the worth ones watching and those are my thoughts on every single high school game this week anyway i'm going to hop off get this edited so you guys can watch it on time let me know what you thought of the video in the comments down below like subscribe turn that bell on as we do our best to post on this channel every single day with that being said i'm going to hop off this edit again so you guys can watch it on time have a great rest of your day if i don't see you on tomorrow's videos and I will see you in the next one. Peace.